We are. I'm not my grand, my grandkid, my daughter, my grandkids are leaving. Um, you said I, you have falsely who? Okay, which is fine. And see, this is what I do. You said you have falsely. What have I falsely done or said and not given scriptures? Now, now you can disagree. I've never said that anyone that you all have to agree, but you got to say, and this is my point, Deron. This is where you, because again, no one, you did the typing. And so you said you have falsely. So now the onus is on you. Um, watch my response to your video. What's your response? Okay, fine. All right. I, so I, we need to wait for Deron. Was the video that you're going to make? That's fine. Um, send your, send your video. I guess I'll watch it. Uh, I'll have to go through the, the other 30 or 40 videos that are out there currently. And so, but you have the opportunity to tell me right now when we have the times where people come in on a live, they can come in on live and say, Hey, here's your opportunity for the last three weeks. Here's your opportunity to say, Corey, here's where I disagree. Here's where you're wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, have I not offered that? And do they show up? They never show up. They never show up. And so I'm doing the best I can, not, and I'm not going to make a, a spectacle out of it. But what I will do is offer someone the opportunity who thinks that I'm wrong. Okay, we'll find you. I want you to show me I'm wrong. Why? Because if I'm wrong, I've just learned something new. You're beginning to think I'm twisting on purpose. What am I twisting on purpose? You have to pop, smoke, and run to the Greek in Wow, Duran, it's like it's almost it's almost as like you're it's it's almost like you're 14, but you said you work, so you so that means you're older than 14. You have to fine. Let's just which which text? John 15. Okay, let's 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 just go to since this is a, a Christian channel, let's go to John 15. By the way, when I used to believe in loss of salvation, this was the text that I would go to. And so let's just keep what he says. You have to pop smoke and run to the Greek. You have to pop smoke and run. Where did he, where did he put that? I want to save that. I want to save that. So, Deron, can I ask you a question, my friend? Brother? Is it wrong to go to the Greek? It's wrong to twist the Greek. So now, can, before we continue, I'll just I'll just do this as best I can. But but can I ask you a question? Duran? Be honest. I want your next comment to be yes or no. I want your next comment to be yes or no. Do you know Greek? Just yes or no. Do you know Greek? Yes or no. That that that's the next that's the next comment that I'm looking for. Do you know Greek? Duran says no. Can I ask you another question? If you don't know Greek, how then do you criticize me for twisting the Greek? How do you make that asinine statement, Duran? to state that I'm twisting the Greek that you don't know. Thank you, Chris. Chris Chris put the emoji up like this, like, wow, I can't, why would you say such a thing? So no one who doesn't know Greek doesn't know the Bible. I've, I've always said you don't have to know Greek or Hebrew to know the Bible. But does Hebrew and Greek help? Sure. There are some, there are certain parts of it that huh, it's not as clear. Can I, can I, can I prove a point? Can I, can I prove that, Duran? Let class, let's just have a let's just have a quick little session. Let's have a quick little session. And Duran, I want I want you to help me. Duran. In John 3.16, you know the passage, right? Now don't I, I want I, I just want you to just listen to me. To answer this question. In John 3.16. In John 3.16. Why, according to John 3.16, according to the text, according to the English. Why did God give his only begotten son? According to John 3, 16, why did he give his only begotten son? John 3, let's put on text, put on screen. According to John 3, 16, let's go to verse 16. Why, according to the text, no, don't say, come on, bro. There, there it is, there it is, there it is, Duran. This is why you might want to be quiet. Because he so loved the world. Wow. Okay. So now, Duran, on the off chance that you might not know what you're talking about, on the off chance that you could be wrong, and on the off chance that I could be wrong, let's go to the text. Now, here we have this word right here, for. When you see the word for, first of all, even if you're not very good in English, 
drop look look below my shirt where it says God on my on my shirt. It has the word gar. Can you all see what that is? That is gar means the word for. It is a conjunction. What is a conjunction? Going back to Schoolhouse Rock. It's hooking up phrases, right? Yeah, I'm really doing this. It's hooking up phrases because when you say that the reason why he gave his only begotten son because he so loved the world, that is not why he gave his son. Duran, I want you to listen. It starts off with this word, hutos. For is what's called post positive. So in the Greek, you put the for, but in the English, we shift to the front so that we can, so it makes good, good English sense. Hutos. So for hutos, what does the word hutos mean? And this is why I put the Greek up so that you can kind of go along with me and you can see for yourself. And so you won't do it tonight because pride won't let you, but maybe in a year or two, maybe in a week or two, you'll say, you know what, doggone, I should have kept my mouth shut. Hutos gar. This for, this is how. Now listen to the phrase. For this is how Agapason, he was loving or he loved how theos, how God loved the world. For this is how God loves the world. What do you think he's referring to there, Duran? If you say for this is how, he must be referring to something in the past, something that he just said. He says for, see, Duran's not listening, but it's okay though. So someone else who actually wants to learn. When he said, hutos gar, for this is how, or in this way. If you don't believe this is what hutos means, just look below me. Now, I didn't write this, this software. I didn't put the Greek up. Thus, so, in this way. So for a conjunction, joining up these two phrases, verses 15, 14 and 15 to verse 16, this is how, in this way, God shows his love for the world. So now, think about this, Duran, and anyone else. So what he's saying is, this is how God shows his love for the world. Matter of fact, he says, I'm, I'm using the Greek to divert. It's even in the English. Hoste, which is so that in, in order that or thus, the son, the only one he gave. Now, does anyone know what this phrase right here is? This word right here. Uh-oh, let me highlight it. Yeah, let me do this. I just highlighted it. Uh-oh, I thought I did. I guess I didn't. Let me highlight this again. Does anyone know the word that's highlighted there, what that word means? This word henna. Does anyone know what the word henna means? What it's for? Let me highlight it so that you can look in the, in, in the uh, uh, right below me. This word henna means in order that, or that, or so that. Whenever you see the word henna, Duran, what it refers to is the purpose, the reason why. Every time you see the word henna, Duran, let me say it again. Every time you see the word henna, iota, nu, alpha, henna, every time you see that, the words that come after that, tells you why the words preceding that were stated, okay? So in this case, he says, Hena pas hapistuon, in order that all the believing ones shall not perish. So when I ask you, why did God give his tan huyan tan managane edokin, why did God give his only son or the only one of his kind why did God give the only one of his kind? You went to the very first set of words that you saw. For God so loved the world. That is not why he gave his only son, because he because God so loved the world. The henna actually tells us in order that all the believing ones in him would not perish, but have life into the age or have eternal life. That's what that's what that's literally what it says. Now Duran might want to say, well, you're just going to the Greek. Well, how was it given? Was it given to us in English, Duran, or was it given to us in Greek? Duran, please answer the question. Duran, was the, was the Bible given to us in Greek or was it given to us in English? 
Obviously, it was given to us the New Testament in Greek and the Old Testament in Hebrew. So do so do we then turn around and translate the Hebrew and the Greek in light of the English, or do we translate the English in light of the Greek or the Hebrew? We take the Greek and Hebrew and translate the English. So therefore, now you don't you don't have to um, agree at this very moment, but go back. And if you know someone else that might not like me or disagree with me, that's fine. Ask them, did I just exegete this Greek correctly? Now, what I'm going to do, I want to do something for you because you don't know Greek. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight every last one of these words so that right below me, you can take a piece of paper, a big sheet of paper, take a big sheet of paper. And then when I highlight this Greek word, you'll see right below me what the word means. When I highlight the next word, you can see that, that word, write that down. And you can, on your own time, go and check these words and see if, they, if, if what I'm saying is so. So, hutos, gar, agapason. You all understand what I'm saying? Right below me, you have the definition. And oh, by the way, you even have the strong concordance, which, by the way, can be helpful or can hurt. Agapason, ha, theos, tan, kosman. Hoste, Tan, Huion, Tan, Monogane, Edokin. Hena, Pas, Ha, Pistuan, Ice, Altan, Me, Apoletai, Al, Eke, Zoane, Ionion. So now what you can do, what you can do is go and look at those words, see if I said in the right context. I do two sort sort of truth. And so and listen, I used to be the person that would say, yeah, the, the Greek, yeah, the, the, the Hebrew. But when you say things like that, who's the one that gave it to you? Corey Minor did not write the Bible in, in English, Greek, or Hebrew, or the parts in Aramaic. So when you make a statement that I'm twisting the Greek and you don't know the Greek, do you do you understand how laughable and how and how idiotic that sounds? I'm not calling you an idiot, but it's idiotic for you to make that statement. He's twisting the Greek and you don't know the Greek. 